what's wrong. An enemy. That sword. Is that Storm Quell? A demon wielding a foreign made sword. You must be the sword breaker. <laughs> Not much for conversation, are you? Silence, they say, is only commendable in an upstone dried and a maid not bendable. Blast away the shadows of darkness! For three! I'm a turkey! Killing flash! But I'm this close! I want it! in! Form zero! Thunder! He's still moving. I'll take this one. Come and get me. Sorry. I just got a little riled up. Do you know that demon? No, but I know his sword. A blade called Stormquell. Stormquell? Whatever. It doesn't have anything to do with us. Let's just get to the portal already. Lafayette said, I'm sorry about what happened back there. I thought he was going to kill you. Yeah, I know. You were just doing what you thought was right. Yeah, maybe so. That's good then. I didn't give you a clear enough warning to stay out of it. If it ever happens again, I'll give you a proper warning. You really don't want me to help you? Even if your life is at risk? Yep. Why? Actually, I'm not too sure myself. Huh? There's somebody out there I need to defeat by my own hand. I want to strike him down. I want to triumph against him. But to do that, I need to be a better swordsman. Someone you have to defeat. In a sword fight, yeah. And I'll do anything to ensure I come out on top in the end. No matter how much it costs me. Life, limb, hell, even my heart and soul, I'll pay it. Those feelings have been so central to me for so long. I lost my dang humanity somewhere along the way. Why do you need to win that badly? <laughs> to be honest, it beats me. Maybe it has to do with me being a demon. Or maybe that's why I became one. Either way, it's more important to me than life itself. More important than life. But still, I owe you for saving me back there. There's no victory pose in store for me if I'm dead. Uh, okay. Is that how you thank someone for saving your life? Huh? I'm just being honest with the little guy. And no offense and all, but why do you care? You don't even think it disrespectful? You truly are a demon. Yep. Big old demon. <sighs> I'll finish this now. Come on, put up some fight, okay?
Name sounds so familiar. Hey, Eleanor? Thanks for stepping in earlier. Think nothing of it. My orders are to protect you, so I did. Oh, I see. Of course, orders are no orders. I'd save anyone under threat from a demon. Well, how noble. Oh, I got it! Got, got what? The tragic tale of the Sword Storm Quell! Gather round and listen, oh grimy travelers! Once, centuries past, there was a sword renowned the world over for its peerlessly sharp edge. So mighty was each swing of the sword, it produced howling winds that could level mountains! No other sword could match its power. The people, in their superstition, began to call it the Godblade! This Godblade... is it Stormquell? Shush! The tale is merely beginning. His name was Kurogane, a blacksmith of wondrous talent. His heart was set on forging an even greater sword, and he had a name in mind for this sword. Stormquell, the sword to conquer the Godblade's roaring winds. And did he make it? Kurogane forged scores of challengers to the Godblade, but each would-be Stormquell was shattered by the implacable howling wind. Some say the wielder of the Godblade chopped off his head. Others say he took his own life. The truth is lost to the dusty cobwebs of history. But perhaps he, and his grudge towards the Godblade, somehow yet live. A grudge that spans centuries. You hear tall tales like this all the time. Perhaps. But if that's the real Stormquell, we should all sleep with one eye open tonight. What makes you say that? Because that godblade Kudogane wanted so desperately to top has been passed down through my family for generations. Its name is Stormhowl. Oh. In other words, we could well bump into your armored friend again. And Luffy said, What is it? You can't trust her just because she said she'd protect you, orders or no orders. Remember, Malakim are just tools to exorcists. But she really did protect me. I know you feel you owe her for that, but do you have to look so happy about it? Sorry. I'm not asking for an apology. I just want her to know that we've all got an eye on her, no matter how close you two get. I want her to understand that I come first. So... What do you want me to do? Let's see. To put it simply, 
I'm number one, and Eleanor is number two. Got it? I get it. You're number one, and Eleanor is number two. Right. I'm number one. Wait, this is kind of stupid, isn't it? It's alright. I understand. Ugh, that's not what I mean. It's over, right? doing here oh I think these were used to keep robbers away like wards around old King's tombs I've read about this there's a trick to the stone it reacts to heat heat huh then there's only one thing to do Did you think you could escape me?
No. Well, if you aren't the craziest demon, your body's harder than your own sword. Who's this? That's Lord Shigure, one of the only two legged exorcists in the entire abbey. <laughs> A legate. Same as Melchior. Eleanor, fancy meeting you here. What the hell happened to you? You get captured by a demon? Or are you a turncoat? Uh, I... I'm... Eh, don't matter. I do my own thing. I got no standing to tell you how to live. Still, today's my lucky day. Never thought I'd encounter the one and only Stormquell. Shigure, I think someone over there wants your attention. He looks lonely. You're right, I'm being a jerk. Just can't pass up the chance to tease my little brother. Can I, Rokuro? Your brother? You haven't changed a bit, Shigure. You go blind, dumbass? I'm bucket load stronger now. You're the one who hasn't changed, I bet. You still hung up on trying to take me down? The one you want to beat in a fight? That's him? I'm not who I was that day either, brother. Oh, wait. You're a demon? Ha! <laughs> now it's getting good. But I wonder, has that really changed anything? When my real storm howl breaks your sad reject again, you gonna piss yourself like last time? I'll handle him. Rafi said, no matter what, I need you to stay out of it. Uh, all right. It's been too long since we crossed swords, brother. Shut up! You're dead! I'll make you regret sparing my life last time! Slug! You're feisty as a demon. I like it. <laughs> But alas, I think our fight's over. Rokuro! What? My... my body! I said stay out of this! We're just getting started here! No backing down for you this time, huh? But we're done for today. Sigurai! Oh, calm down, Rokuro. We could have a real fight sometime if you actually brought a decent sword. Go ask that old bastard there to make you one. I'll be waiting. Huh? Who? That demon in the armor, Kuragane. The blacksmith from the story! I'll be waiting for you at Port Cadnix. Unless you can beat me, you ain't getting off this island. Who are you to decide that? You got a problem with it, lady? <laughs> <laughs> Best of luck, you demons. You'll need it. Lord Shigure, sir! I'm on a high-level mission! Eleanor, babe, I get it. You've gone rogue. Have fun with that. I see you again. I'll kill you. Uh, uh. He wasn't even trying yet. You can tell. But if we all fight him together... That won't work. But there is another way. What are you talking about? What way? Follow me. Aren't we going after him? This is his fight. It has nothing to do with me. But Shigure said he'd be waiting at the port. He may be a nutball, but I don't think he's fool enough to let us slip past. Exactly. 
And as a swordsman, he's even more skilled than Artorius, and that's saying something. We're mice with our tails pinned, and the cat's licking his lips. At the very least, Korogane seems to have some kind of plan. Fine. We'll hear what he has to say. What was that fat cat creature with Shigure? You mean Morgrim? She's a Moloch. She just looks different. And? And what? She has all the abilities of a Moloch. I'm not trying to keep anything from you. All I know is her name and that she's a Moloch. Huh. Lord Shigure is an exorcist legate, but he's also a warrior who can match exorcists or demons even without the use of Moloch arts. Since no one has ever seen Shigure use an art, Morgrim is considered one of the Seven Wonders of the Abbey. The Seven Wonders of the Abbey! No one knows Morgrim's capabilities, or even the details of Shigure's pact with her. No one! Except me, that is! Huh? This is all highly classified, but... Morgrim is incredibly lazy. The price she demanded of Shigure for making a pact with her was... Grooming and defleeing! Anything else? Oh, and on a point of sensitivity, she's chubby, not fat. She may be our enemy, but she's also a woman. You should try not to hurt each other's feelings. <sighs> Anything else? Her thick eyebrows are all the rage with Malakim, so much so that false eyebrows are expected to be the next big thing. <sighs> well, if he's that strong without Moloch arts, I don't want to see what he's like with them. I'm not one to go easy. What were you thinking, Eleanor? Attacking a legate like that? Uh, well... I just thought... Rokuro was going to die if I didn't intervene. Oh? You'd kill one of your own allies for a demon? I... I acted without thinking. Sometimes I'm too soft-hearted to a fault. I'd say it's less that, and more just stupidity. You're supposed to be protecting Lafayette. Don't get yourself into trouble you don't need. Even if one of her own is in danger? Even then. This kid must be really important to her. All right. I understand. Luffy said. Next time she acts up, stop her. Understand? Uh, okay. Thanks for not telling on me, Eleanor. And I'm sorry I hijacked your body. I understand how it feels to want to protect your friends. The problem's with those demons, not you. But I think Velvet has the capacity to feel the same way, too. At least when it comes to her brother. Is that why you're staying with her? I'm... I'm not sure. It's hard to say. I have to figure out what's going on with this group, if I ever hope to wrest the child from them.